All right, I'm Chuck Big Daddy Meyer. Today we are going to be attempting to catch our snowflake eel out of our 55 gallon aquarium saltwater reef tank. My wife is apparently not happy. <laughs> We've been dealing with this for a little while. She has called me out to uh, assist her in this matter. So uh, if you want to watch the shenanigans that come across and hear the uh, amusing diatribe, stay Great. tuned. Today's project is to remove our little snowflake eel from this tank and put him into a place called Eel City. And what she did is she put a little plexiglass barrier and got the net. If you've never tried to catch an eel, it's not as easy as one might think. He's pretty freaked out right now. He's hanging out here with the skunk shrimp. So we're going to see what happens if we can get him out. You would think that maybe you could just pick up the whole rock and remove it from the tank. Well, we put the tank in and put the hood, which is this big conglomeration of lights and everything, on after we put the rocks in. And actually physically lifting those rocks out, well, that wouldn't work either. The eel would escape. So this is one of those technical things. See, he's trying to find that crevice right there where he can sneak out. This is Eel Catching 101. You can get through that little crack. Yes. I... I it's hard to even imagine the size of the little teeny crack that he can get through. Where is he? He's coming up the side of the rock now, on the back side. Inside? Yeah. All right. I'm going to have to actually put my camera down mm -hmm. because we need more hands in the party. And we'll see if we can get him out. All right. So we've had to remove a rock. He slid by us twice. So now we're to removal of stuff and we aquarium. did is we've taken the rock out of the water she's doing some holding stuff she says it's eventually going to just drop into the water and then he's going to go ape shit batty so uh it's now a waiting game all right so we've got everybody on this side of the little quarantine line in the tank and we've taken apart the center console of the tank in the middle and he's still it's like a swat event we're in negotiation. A common person who's not a reefer might ask, why don't you just take off that big damn hood that you got there? The answer is it has one, two, three, four wires from the power head. From the wave maker power heads. That have to be disconnected. And another four or five wires, four wires from the lights. And another four and or five ballast. wires from the lights and the ballast. So it's They're kind of a- They're all underneath the net. <laughs> So, yes, it can be done. Do a, I want to do it? No. <laughs> so I might end up doing it, but right now I'm doing it this way first until I'm completely <laughs> sure that this is going to fail. We're at plan C. What we've done is we've inserted the smaller rock that was in the middle of the aquarium that can be removed from the aquarium in hopes that maybe he'll go over there. We'll plexiglass that portion of it off and lift the whole rock out. Stand by. So the tank is cordoned off and we have every fish that we have over on this side. Generating a little bit of stress, but. They're not that stressed out. The flame angle you can still pick an algae on the wall. Shrimper. She wouldn't be doing shrimping. that if she was freaked out. I think it's more stressful for you. It is more stressful for me. This is stressful. I don't like having to tear the tank up like this. It's stressful. All right, so he's starting to peek his little head out. He's trying to decide where he wants to go. If he goes down to that bottom rock, we move the big rock over, put the quarantine the plexiglass, wall. plexiglass wall in there, and we can hopefully net him from that either net rock. him or lift that rock out altogether so eel watch 2018 so one of the lessons that i think we can take away from this is 
eels are hard as hell to get out of your tank. If you uh, have something that you think you may have to remove from a tank, have a damn plan and have a good one. Or don't put it in to begin with. Because eels are shifty little bastards. You would think that you could just snatch him up. Uh uh. It doesn't work like that. They are escape artists to the tenth degree. Little Oliver here has uh, been a noble an opponent, if you will. Because uh, we've been sitting here for about an hour. Ah, he's coming out a little bit more. Water right here. All right, we got we got him. It was a scoop of the net, and and he uh, went right in. So we're gonna change him up and put him in. Put that down. Help me. Yeah. Oh no, take this so all I right. can get this through this crevice without spilling water all over my floor because it just barely fits out. All right. And here you go. Oliver is about to go to Eel City. Well, not right now. I'm just going to let him simmer down and put him in the sump because this is the same water that he's been in. Ah. All right, so now we're putting Oliver into the refusium. Why are we doing that, D? Uh, because I'm going to do a water change on the little tank before I put him in there. Okay. Right now he can stay in here and that's got a good steady flow of water coming through that crevice that'll keep him from uh, getting out? Um, no, keep him from running out of oxygen. That one piece of PVC is not cooperating. There it goes. So he can have a tube to hide in. That's going to go right like that. And that'll, that's got a steady flow of water coming through there to get keeping with oxygen while he's living in that for a little while. Tell us, uh, tell us what we've learned with catching an eel. Don't listen to your husband when he says, hey, let's get a baby eel for the tank. It'll be all right. <laughs> and you know better, and then you do it anyway. And then you realize that it was a real bad idea. I don't know if that's it. I think... That is the exact lesson that I have learned not to listen to the husband that wants the predator tank. Can we get an octopus? No. <laughs> so the, de the deal is uh, ask your wife, who's a reefer, for all the most obnoxious stuff that you can find in a tank. And beg like hell until she gets it, and then you have to sit here and, and catch it out. So we found out that eels are really hard to get out of a tank once you put them in. They kind of have to have their own surrounding, or their own tank. The reason we took it out of this tank is because uh, we didn't want it to eat any of the other fish that my wife likes in the tank. And he was starting to really look at them. And he was starting to get hungry and has the ability to do that. Well. All right, so what you got here is temporary Eel City. He's down here in the refusium. And uh, not the happiest place for him, but we have to have the other tank set up right so we can put him up in there. We're gonna do a quick water change and he'll go to his other home. He's moving around in there, he's good to go. He's set up right by the water inlet, so he's getting a good uh, water flow and good exchange. So the next place you'll see him is the new eel tank. The goal is to take Oliver from this tank and we've provided him with a brand new eel sanctuary. All the way <laughs> here to this tank called Eel City. And we've removed uh, the little dotty back for eel company because, well, that thing's a nipper, kind of the bully of the other tank. So we took we took it out and put it over here in Eel City. And this is gonna be a good place for Oliver to hang out. We don't have to worry about him eating any fish that my wife likes. This is, this here is removing the eel. Are you putting me on film? No, this is removing the eel from I don't wanna be on eel home. film. Okay. 
Just hold that in front of your face. There we go. You're, you're not on film. No. <laughs> you're, you are blurred you're out. You're now so blurred out. Like, I don't so want to be on the film. You're not on the but film. But you're technically not on the film. You're so really you take you take your eel home that you had in the refusium, and we dump some of the water out. On the floor. Because you're trying to put me on the film. Uh, you're not on film. I'm giving a plastic bag film blocker. <laughs> <laughs> this is for the aquarium reefer that doesn't want to be on film. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and add our our eel to Eel City. No, he's going in a bag. He's going in this to acclimate. So we're going here to acclimate. And this is how you get an eel out of the eel pod. There we go, one eel in a bag. And boy, he was not happy yesterday. He's even less happy today. Yes, he is going to be less happy. So now we're acclimating. There we go. <laughs> He's trying to escape. Oliver the eel is now pissed. If you didn't think that eels could jump, they can. So Oliver is now in his new home in Eel City. No, he's not in the home yet. He's upset. So the eel's mad now, but it's gonna he's acclimating in his new home. And well, he's acclimating the temp I'm acclimating the temperature. Am I on film? You're not, it's looking at me. He's acclimating to the temperature of the new tank. And that is where he's going to stay. <laughs> Damn the rocks. <laughs> All right, there he is. He is in the new home, checking it out. We got a little smaller tank. He's in with the Dottie back. She was one of the more aggressive fish in the large aquarium. So he's got a friend in here. And we've got Eel City. What's the next step, Mama? We just wait for him to start eating. He might eat tomorrow after he simmers down, calms down being in here. And there you go. How to catch an eel. <laughs>